All right, <clears throat> put a bead of silicone inside there and then put your seal in there. But before you put the silicone in there, make sure you know which way the seal is gonna go. So you put it in there perfect. The water pump doesn't actually hold the seal very good, so that's why I gotta use sealer. So I'm gonna put it on there and get it ready. I have my bolts in hand. Make sure you put your dowel pins in. And the dowel pins are in there, you gotta go get right on there. And you can put your bolts in. Don't put your bolts in until your dowel pins are in and lined up. Make sure you push that seal down inside the groove, okay? All right, put your water pump in there. Get it down flush. Do not allow it to pull back away. At least get one bolt on the bottom, one bolt on top. Run all the way down before you release your hand from it because you don't want it to pull away and have that seal come out of the groove. Okay, now you got the water pump bolted up. Got a hand tightened it up. Tighten them up with your quarter inch ratchet. Don't over tighten them. They're just little quarter inch, little eight millimeter bolts with a 10 millimeter head. Okay, now you can put your uh, tensioner pulley assembly on and your idler. Your tensioner pulley has a groove in the middle there. Put a little bit of silk glide in there. On a fine layer of grease, put it inside that groove in there and that'd be good. And then go to your old one and pull out the sleeve that's inside there. Make sure you match it up. How you're taking it out and putting it in. Okay. Let's see if they put any grease in there. Nope, don't see none. Okay, so now we got that done. Get your bolt put up in there. All right, put it up on the water pump. Make sure you put the bushing in this way. That hole is bigger than this size. This side fits the bolt, this side fits the pump, okay? Got your new idler, put your pump, put your bolt in it from the old one. Put your shim on it. See how it's sunken down in there? And this side is more flat, even. So that's perfect. So now screw that one up in there. Okay. Got them in snugged up. Now you want to torque them to 33 foot pounds. The idler and the tensioner bolt. That one. And this one. Okay. 33 foot pounds. Okay. Now it's time for the belt. Okay. Push your belt in here. It's kind of tight fit. Route it up around the tensioner or the idler. And then route this side over the tensioner side of the pulley. Get them up there. Double check this is on the money. And then now we're gonna go on top and do everything from up on top. I started off with my notches lined up. Okay, and then what I did was I put my belt up here and I got my 17 millimeter wrench on here and I pulled it approximately about a tooth clockwise. And I put my belt down there, okay? Tight as I can get it that way. And now I'm gonna turn it back to my notches where they line up and that'll be counterclockwise. And that belt should be tight. Okay, I turned it so my notches line up. Okay, and here's the belt. See the belt? It's it's kind of it's pretty tight. You ain't gonna get no other notch out of that. So so that's pretty tight. I can go back just a little bit more and line it up and be good. And that belt 
Hear it? All right. Usually I use a needle nose vice grips to hold the belt on, but this little piece here is helping me out. Okay. And then you wanna do the same thing on the back cam. You wanna get it start, get it up there. This one you can put all the way around because there's a lot of slack on the other side. Okay. And on this one, you want to pull it, you know, clockwise again towards you and put the belt on, get them in the notches, and then line your marks up, back it up, okay? So we'll give it a shot. Okay, I pulled the, the cam clockwise, put the belt on it, looped the belt all the way around. I took it off the pulley for the tensioner so I could get it onto the gear. And on the back side of this gear, there's another one of these that the belt has to go underneath. It's on the back side, approximately right about um, 9.30 spot, okay? So I, this is what I did. I pulled the cam clockwise, put my belt on there tightly, Fished it around, pushed it underneath the little notch in the back, got it around, and then put it on my tensioner pulley. And then I moved the cam back with my wrench to line up my marks. And they are lined up, and the belt is tight. <coughs> okay. Come down here. Tight. Lined up, and I don't know if you can see it, but there they are. They're lined up, okay? They're right on the money. They're right on the money. Everything's on. Now I need to do is go down underneath and make sure that on the money on the crank and then we'll put the tensioner in okay lined up perfect and listen I'm tight okay all right now you probably wonder why did I do this side first because it's the pull side okay the pull side it's pulling the belt, okay? That's the pull side, and this is going to be the loose side. So you do the loose side last. You do the pull side first, okay? Now we're going to put our tensioner up in there and snug up our bolts. Okay, <clears throat> put the tensioner up in there. Line up your bolts. Start your bolts. Snug them both up. And then torque them. They say 19, but I say 14. I use my uh, quarter inch ratchet and tighten them up so they're good. Anything's still lined up. Now I'll get me some uh, side cuts right here. I'll pull my pin out. Okay. up against the, the, the tensioner pulley and now it's tight it's all good now I'm ready to go now I need to take my bolt out and put my uh, my washer in there remember that washer okay all right now it's time for the mount bracket okay we got the motor mount bracket in there got all three bolts started and then I torqued the two top ones, dug them up, and I put my little 10 millimeter head screw on the top, remember you took out. So now we're gonna go underneath and put the cover up underneath in the, in the balance. Okay, now you got your front cover on, put your seven bolts in, and snug them up, okay? Now we're gonna go up on top and put the cam 
gear covers on. Make sure that groove fits in the plastic cover that we just installed down below. Okay, same thing on the other one. Okay, got both covers on, got all the bolts in. If the bolts aren't going in properly, then the cover's not on properly. So make sure the cover's on properly so they all line up. Get them all lined up and snug them up. Don't forget about this one in the back with the wire harness, okay? Now we're gonna put the mount back to the body. Okay, got the mount back in there and mounted. Put anti-seize on the threads of the bolts so they don't rust up again. And now you need to put the four screws back in this, the 10 millimeter head ones, like those, okay? Put those in there. All right, you got the module bolted back up. Your uh, wires plugged into the little fasteners. Now you need to do is put this bracket from the engine mount bracket to the body mount. Put that in there, get these two started. Put your long bolt through there, get it started. And make sure you offer your jack. Your jack's not picking up on the engine. You don't need that no more, so remove it. So now you got those in there, now you can snug those up and torque them. Okay, now you can put your power stream pump in. It's got the two 12 millimeter head bolts. Put them in, snug them up, and tighten them up. Power stream pump is on. Now the power stream pressure hose. The two tens, okay? And then we'll put on the reservoir. Okay. Reservoir's on, hoses connected, clamps on. I put some fluid in it so I don't forget. Because I don't want to be pumping air. So now I'm gonna raise it up. Before you raise it up, put the time put the uh serpentine belt on the power stream pump pulley and fish the belt down below. And now we're gonna put the tensioner assembly on. Okay, got the big bolt started, got the little bolt started, snugged up the big bolt, which is a 17, tighten it up, go down, tighten up your little 12, get that tight. Now we'll put the crank pulley on. All right, you got the <coughs> tensioner in there. You tightened it up. Now you need to do is route your belt. Belt goes around the power steering, around the alternator, down to this tensioner pulley, around the AC compressor, and then up around the crankshaft pulley, and up to the other idler on the tensioner, and back over to the power steering pulley. Put your 19 socket on here with a, a nice breaker bar, swivel head and pull it down and then feed your belt around your crank make sure everything's in the pulleys and all the notches okay and that's it for that now you can take your bungee cord off of here and install your fender skirt and install your tire and torque them to 100 foot pounds and then you can lower it down and finish underneath on top okay Pretty much, don't forget about this little cover. Goes back over that module. <clears throat> and we got power steering fluid in there. Some main freeze going in there. Now all they do is start it up. And let it run. And uh, let it get hot so we can top off the coolant again. And see how it goes. All right, it starts and runs. Topping off my coolant. Did my power steering, turn the wheel right to left. Good. So, time both turned out good. So, hopefully uh, everything for you turned out good. If I helped you out, that's awesome. And if you did this job and it worked out great for you, that's awesome too because it's a job. All right, well if I helped you out, Maybe you can help me out with some uh, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. If you already subscribed to me. You're awesome. And hopefully I can help you more in the future. All right. Bye. Thank you.